Whenever there's a new patch in Hearthstone, you already know that Clark Hellscream is going to cook up a brand new Rainbow DK. And honestly, this deck won a Masters Tour tournament. Even though I didn't make the deck, trust me, it's very good. It, 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 it wins games. It just, that's what it does. It wins games. I'm going to need a little bit of help from my Russian audience because unfortunately, I have been told this person's name twice. But unfortunately, I still am not able to say this guy's name. But you know what? Put respect on this guy's name because he got second place at the Masters tour he is going to the hearthstone world championship tournament at the end of the year as well as yukyu the two guys that won the masters tour but this guy ended up getting second place with rainbow dk in his lineup and i decided to try out the deck myself and if you want his lineup i will be sure to put it in the description below to make sure uh, that you guys can play these decks but obviously you don't want to play their shopper demon hunter deck anymore because it is nerfed and it is bad shopper demon hunter is in a bad spot and in order to prove this check out how diverse things are since the update has gone live and look at where rainbow dk is rainbow dk is sitting at a 55 percent win rate after 500 games around top 10,000 legend and the only reason why i'm not showing you top 1,000 legend is because these are the only decks that are popping up as of right now there's just not enough data to go through it yet but if you look at you know top 10,000 legend on donkey standard meta there's a lot of archetypes that are actually seeing play so we're seeing a refreshing you know variety of decks and demon hunter is actually nowhere to be seen scene but like i said rainbow dk is going to be the uh, the topic of today's video and honestly i really do believe this could potentially be the best deck in the game so the reason why i believe this might be one of the most powerful decks in the game is because De control death knight is just obscenely powerful and what happens when you give control death knight a legitimate win condition so the whole point of this deck is that you are essentially playing control and then switching to like tempo and just like pushing a bunch of damage when the time is right this is a deck that is trying to essentially raise itself up while bringing the opponents down and honestly it's a funny joke in order to raise the dead because that's what we're doing we are raising a bunch of corpses with uh, cards like army of the dead technically runes of darkness but the real way that you spend corpses with this deck is maw and paw but in addition to your headless horseman headless horseman is going to be your primary corpse spender for the main reason that he just gives you infinite undeads and when you eventually draw the head you are going to start summoning a bunch of undeads that eventually start spending your corpses and that is how you build up a gigantic necrotic explosion but obviously in order to do this you have to you know pass a lot of turns you have to get a lot of time on your hands in order to build up this combo so that's why you have hell yeah and plagues in order to supplement damage in another way but mostly plagues are in here in order to give us you know more ways of pressuring damage as well as disrupting disrupting is the main reason we're playing plagues and you can also find the plague weapon out of runes of darkness and we got a very interesting interaction being showcased but the russian champion decided to bring the perfect module and the twin module and honestly this is just probably the best way of playing it in rainbow dk to get you the most amount of stats and most amount of healing because that's really the power of this deck is just how much lifesteal is uh, is popular within this deck and honestly i saw a lot of people running this combination with zilliax already but usually when people are thinking of zilliax combinations they are always putting in the taking module but i really do believe that adding an extra copy is just the way to go for a bigger more bombastic amount of healing the only other card that's really weird in this list and a lot of people might have some questions about is the rainbow seamstress and the reason why i'm going to defend this card is for two situations one it is just an extremely good turn three against any board based deck full stop you get to trade into a minion you get a little bit of lifesteal and you get the minion back if you do need to make a trade therefore giving you corpses but it's just more importantly that you're going to be on the board more times than not so this on turn three is a very very powerful card but another reason why it could particularly be good is because if you have threads of despair attached to the seamstress then the seamstress has lifesteal if you trade it off and it deals its, its damage then you are technically getting lifesteal aoe from the threads of despair it works very similarly to if you know how the poisonous interaction works because if you play the the grimy walker and then play hero power get a poisonous ghoul and then play the threads of despair on it everything dies it's got a poisonous death rattle and everything is just going to take that damage and just immediately die unless it has like divine shield or something the power of this deck really is you know taking over the board having this gigantic draw combos with acolyte of death and then eventually trying to grind the game down with a gigantic climactic narcotic explosion but the real power of this deck is just knowing when to clear 
clear the boards, when to utilize your lifesteal, when to take a minion with Rezka, and honestly, everything else just kind of falls into place because you're summoning minions, shuffling plagues, and dealing with the boards. I feel like I've repeated myself a ton of times whenever it comes to Rainbow DK, but you never know when this is going to be someone's first time being exposed to this deck, so I want to make sure that I'm trying to be as detailed as possible. But the cards that you want to keep on your mulligan are going to be your Miracle Salesman, your Mining Casualties. I usually like keeping Acolyte of Death. Some people may not recommend keeping it unless you have crop rotation, but I usually just like to keep the Acolyte of Death, especially if I have Mining Casualties, because it's great to play turn two Mining Casualties, trade your board away, have the Acolyte of Death ready to go, and get an insta card draw in turn. So I just like it for that reason. But if you're not someone that wants to keep Acolyte of Death, you can easily keep Rainbow Seamstress. Hell yeah, and most matchups is going to be correct. If you're on coin, keeping Mom Paw can also be correct. And in certain matchups, you might actually want to keep the Crusher because this is probably one of the most busted cards, if not the best card in the game right now. But before we get into the gameplay, we have to talk about a certain bug that was going on with Runes of Darkness at the time of uh, recording the stream. I'm hoping that this bug has been fixed by the time that I'm posting this video, which is the reason why I didn't immediately post this because this was one of the first decks that I had success with. But the, but the glitch or the bug that's going on with Runes of Darkness right now is that if you play this card and you discover a Quartzite Crusher, if you discover that freeze weapon, and then you choose the other weapons, if you choose any of the other weapons, for some reason, the freeze is carrying over to the new weapon that you generated, and people, for example, have been picking the, the, the plague weapon, not only shuffling a plague, but they're also freezing the face, which is unbelievably broken. And there's another glitch that's happening to where if you have Quartzite Crusher and it's been destroyed, and then you play another weapon, even if the, the Quartzite Crusher was not discovered, it is still causing a freeze effect. So there is some sort of weird overlap that is happening and the game clips coming up ahead where Quartzite Crusher was carrying over its freeze effect to almost any weapon that you could discover from Runes of Darkness. It's a very weird interaction and hopefully has been patched by the time this video has gone out, but... I called myself a cheater a lot in these clips and this is the reason why I called myself a cheater because every now and again I did kind of abuse it. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm, I'm, I'm the villain here. Don't root for her. Don't root for Clark Hellscream, okay? He's the villain. And as you continue to not root for Clark Hellscream the villain, make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel because I don't want you to do that and if you do do that, that's gonna make me very upset. And I would also be very upset if you also checked out the Patreon and, you know, maybe contributed a little bit and got some coaching or deck optimizations or shout outs and videos that would really make me upset so make sure that you guys don't do that if you really want to be on my good side but thank you so much for making it to the end of this deck intro or maybe i should say no thank you for making it to the, this deck intro i'm just gonna go ahead and end this thank you so much for making it to the end and we'll see you for the next one jesus christ okay very expensive hand very heavy i do not i do not have what it takes to lift that hand i've been stuck at d5 uh, for like a week the hell should I play to climb? Zarini Priest. Uh, Rainbow DK. Oh god, I, I I have the list. I keep forgetting. Oh, Nature Shaman. And uh, you could play Pain Warlock, but Pain Warlock is a bit rough. Any reason just to pass with the with a tap? My rule is just kill the minion. Yeah. I don't like it, but I could do like this into this to make some hand space to try and make this combo a bit more consistent by turn five. I'm happy that Army of the Dead is playable again. Such a cool card. Yeah, it's kind of funny how like Army of the Dead now is just like, it's just board generation more than anything. It's just a good board generator. If you have no spiny, play Virus Rogue. You could play Virus Rogue. Virus Rogue would probably be kind of bad in this meta though. At least what we're seeing so far. People playing uh, Zarimi, Painlock, and... I haven't seen Shaman, actually. Where are all the Nature Shamans? Maybe we should start playing some Jive Shaman and get back into it. Because that's probably the deck that I could play and get a high rank from. If I were to keep playing. And try to go for ranks. But I got some, I got some memes I gotta work on, man. I got, I got that Ogre Warrior video to edit now. <laughs> Okay, Reska off the top. These are terrible cards, man. No, the patch is out. It's out right now. Dude, what? How are these my draws? This is illegal, dude. I'm not wasting threads, and I can't coin out the combo now. Not for EU, it seems. Yeah, it is. It came out at the same time. Did you update your client? You might need to update your client. 
The only people that don't have the patch are mobile users. I don't I don't I don't think the mobile patch has gone live yet. Let me double check ridiculous hats Twitter. From what I could tell, the mobile patch has not happened. Yep. Yep, it'll happen uh later today as usual as note. Mac uh desktop users, your shop will be closed due to a bug. This is temporary and only on Mac desktop. And I think there was somebody that was talking about why is the shop closed. Definitely gonna fix that one as ASAP, right? <laughs> we got we got to have money. If we don't have money, then we don't have anything. Okay, let's go. How can this be? I think he wanted to play a certain six mana card. I think that's what this guy wanted to do. He wanted to play a certain six mana card. I'm not gonna lie, part of me really wanted to just coin it out, but I think Horseman into Coin Primus is just probably better, right? Oh, interesting. So now that he has this... I unfreeze myself, but then he's gonna unfreeze himself, and then he's gonna freeze me again, so that means I need to draw the head as soon as possible, so that way I can unfreeze myself yet again. All right. Head me, dude. I need I need some head. Kick to the W for the opponent. Nah, bro, they, ha they have horsemen for sure. It's actually kind of funny because like, <laughs> the plague saved him from being frozen a whole bunch. And he doesn't even realize it. The drawing that plague there is actually good because it forced him on a different line. And it's like, I'm not giving up this coin Primus turn. Like this is always happening. Okay, another crop. Job's done. And it's like, I gotta do this so that way I can get my my face back. Now, if he Primuses me back, that is a problem. The rooms beside your feet. Ah. It's pain. Li life is nothing but pain, misery, and, uh... And death, apparently. <laughs> and apparently death. Alright, hold on a minute. Steal it? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. I might be able to, but I don't know if I have the mana. Okay, now I do have the mana. This actually works perfectly. Wait a minute. Because now I can just summon more minions. Unbelievable! Ah! <laughs> Uh, this with cage head. Can you imagine? I can imagine. I believe. Down with the ship. Sweet. We didn't find hell yeah, which is kind of sad. Because if we were to find the hell yeah, then we're just infinitely ahead. So now that I have my second Primus, I need to start spending corpses. The draw combo is mucking up my hand space right now. Do this, play weapon, mining casualties. Or is it better to play this? Might be better to do this, actually. I might even override my weapon with a 4-4 instead. Just because hand space is so important to get out right now. And I just really gotta work on this, uh, this draw combo. Infinitely ahead, you say? Yes, yes, infinitely ahead. Or I'm, I'm, I'm infinitely headless at the moment. But once I get my head, I will infinitely keep that head. Until my hero blows up. <laughs> okay. Cleaned up a decent amount. But guess what? I can actually air dead these guys. <laughs> so do this dead air they come back with reborn i'm so smart this is looking pretty donezo not gonna lie man have I seen uh, Pocket Train stream title, Hearthstone World Champion and Paragon of Humility? That's what his title's been for like, since he got the trophy. 
I don't, I don't think he's changed it except for like uh, his, his streams with Fino. Yo, what's going on, Purple Haze? Good to see you, man. Welcome back. It has been a minute. When was the last time you were here? I might be able to tell. Wait, weren't you here in the last stream? Oh, no, it was the second. The last time that you chatted was actually on the second. Bam. Oh, he's soul stealer. Wait a minute. So oh, he found soul stealer. Okay, that's that's different. That's that's much different. Okay, so we'll do this. We summon 4-4 four, four weapon. No muncher. Wait, no. It's the cool ghoul. <laughs> he's, he's just so cool. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that's pretty funny, dude. <laughs> you guys know why he's so cool, right? You guys know the real reason why this guy's so cool, right? It's because he's packing. This guy is packing straight heat. He might be dead, but that package ain't, ain't dead, man. That package definitely ain't expired. Nah, it's not, it's not the glasses. It's totally not the glasses, man. It's everything but the glasses. Oh my god, is he actually gonna kill the ghoul? This is so not worth it, but okay. Larry wants me to voice a Hearthstone card. What Hearthstone card do you want me to voice? Aren't you getting heads consistently now? Every night. I mean, every game. I mean, every night. I mean, uh, duh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Don't reach us one. It's wait, hold on. Okay, I need I need I need this uh as a screenshot. Okay, hold on. <laughs> this guy thinks I'm emoting him, but I'm honestly just doing it because I need to know what it says. <laughs> so we can do this. Another cool ghoul! <laughs> oh my god. Wait, really? Wait. Wait. It's yelling yodeler. So that way, when I win, when I find it, when I find cage head, yelling yodeler for two. That's 18. I want it. Plagues are, are definitely the better play, but I want the yodeler because I want the memes. I want the memes, dude. I'm thinking ahead. Cage head, dude. Oh, no. Wait, that's actually a problem. He can start freezing my face now. If we find... Ca no, when? When we find Cage Head, we have Yelling Yodeler now. Yeah, bro, he got head too. It's not fair. He didn't get it first. I got it first. We've been... We've been discovered... Why do you think we have the... Uh, where do you think the farmhand came from? <laughs> How many heads are enough? You want Cage Head as well? Yes. I want all of the head. <laughs> Does he not have the weapon ready to go? Didn't he play Runes of Darkness? He did. It's not Frost Weapon? Oh my god. Wait, double cons. Can I get through this? Of course I can get through this. Salesman. Have I had any Death Rattles played this game? Outside the mining casualties, I don't think so. Maybe I just picked the Soul Stealer, but that feels kind of bad. Oh, wait a minute, Rezka! Oh. Put your soul into it. And we got the good one. Okay. Pretty decent. The only card I really care about milling right now is hell yeah, but at this point, I feel like it's fine. Yodeler into Rezka, it could have been decent, but it feels a little unnecessary. It could happen next turn, though. Next turn, it actually could happen. All right. Let me, let me do this emote. It is over! Your search is done! Let fate choose now! The righteous one! Honestly, just kind of yelled it. That wasn't really the tone of the voice, but I think I got the timbre definitely there. I I, I like that reading. Damn it, dude! I want to get into voice acting so fucking badly. 
This is this is why it's a point redemption because I like doing it. <laughs> oh sh oh shit! Oh no! Ah, I'm hmm hmm. Okay, okay. I just gotta spend corpses. That's all I need to do. I gotta I gotta spend it to corpses. I don't really need to play that many minions here. So I can't play a minion. Oh, did I just miss lethal? That could have, that maybe could have been a lethal. You know? The only reason I'm doing this is to keep myself at 10 cards. So that way, plagues can't do anything stupid. Because we just win with a climactic next turn, and if we don't need to do that, then we have marrow plus uh, plus this. Like, there's just no way we lose anymore. It's sad we don't get to use the yodeler, but it it is what it is. No hell yeah, determine this game, dude. What's it at? It's at nine, or it's at ten now. I mean, it's just how does he heal? And even if he does heal, we technically have 10, 15 with this. So no head in the cage? Yeah, we're not getting any head in the cage, man. We're not getting kinky tonight. We're not, we're not, we're not getting kinky tonight, I'm sorry. No muncher from hero power? Don't, we don't even need that, man. We already have plenty of damage cards. We have plenty of damage cards. I don't, I don't need to go crazy at all. Wait, if he has healing weapon, this can make a comeback. So it's GG. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I really don't like the Excavate package in Rainbow DK. And kind of like what you saw here, it literally did nothing but make his draws worse. That's all it did. It just made his draws so much worse this game. Booyah. Kinky, where did that come from? I thought you were talking about the portrait. No, we're talking about Cage Head. We're talking about Cage Head, the card. But then some of you guys that are, you know, sick little little uh, gamers are like, hold on a minute, head in the cage, hit, hit, hit. So I was like, all right, kinky. <laughs> it makes sense, does it not? Okay, w warrior? Uh, I want to keep the acolyte. I want card draw against warrior. Definitely want some card draw. What's Brian's tweet about? Uh, I think it's about... Um... Like, it's either, it's either Warhammer or Magic the Gathering. I think there might be some controversies right now in one of those gaming communities. And there's some gatekeeping that men are doing to women. And the only reason why I know about this is because I saw a tweet the other day that I thought was fucking hilarious. Where it's like, it, it's it's really ironic that uh, that a game about making miniatures and, uh, and painting them using makeup tutorials is uh, apparently... A scene that we're excluding women from it seems kind of funny and kind of ironic, but it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> I guess, I guess it just is what it is, man. If people really want to get upset about it, then <sighs> wow, wow, that's all I can really say. Of all the problems in the world, this is the hill that we die on. Sure. <laughs> Oh, is this also about the new Star Wars game? Okay, well, you know what? I, I saw... Okay, there is a video that Osman posted uh, not too long ago about that. And I think that he, that he puts it very, very fucking perfectly. Where it's like all the people that are... Okay, so in, in the, with the Star Wars game in particular. All the people that are like, oh my god, not my Star Wars game. Oh my god, she's so unattractive. It's like all these people are not even focusing on the monetization. And it's funny that the company is actually banking on people to focus on these problems instead of the monetization problems. They are literally getting upset over the stupidest things possible when there are legitimate things to be upset about, but they're not focusing on that. It's so ridiculous. Like you would, ra you would, you would easily, you would easily, you know, spend the one hundred, almost two hundred dollars for the game that shouldn't even be eighty dollars. You are literally spending $200 to get mad. 
You already lost. <laughs> you have already lost if that's where if that's where your mindset is, you know? Sludge Warlock is still good. I got uh 15 to 4 to 6 oh to 6k legend? Nice dude. Frost uh, or um uh Sludge Warlock is probably making a comeback. Now that DK is not on top. But I'll let somebody else play that deck. I don't, don't want to. I don't want to do that. What Star Wars game? Uh, what's it called? Uh, Star Wars Outlaws, I think. Is that the new game, 2024? Yeah, Star Wars Outlaws. To battle. All right, so we got to protect this at all costs. It's really annoying that the mom paw got cleared because it's really important that I had extra HP. Saw makes me want to cry. Pink Floyd, dude. There will never be another band like them. It's actually funny that they uh, added women, uh, uh, added woman into the army that only had mini dudes. Uh, wait, 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 what? It's actually so funny. Wait, it's funny. Uh, uh. It's so funny, actually, is that they added woman in an army and only had dude minis until now except no there have been female minis of that un uh, of that army and mentions of them in lore books that date from like 15 years ago okay so it's just incompetence from what i'm hearing what's the line here this is really awkward to deal with and i don't want to just throw my rezka at this but it might just be throw rezka at it you could use that yeah, it's just throw a Reska at it. I need to find Helia. Yeah. So that's where that's the mission that we're on right now. Find the plagues. Yu-Gi-Oh surprised me with how chill it is with the uh, with the queer community. Uh, somewhat recently, a trans girl won and dominated. To be honest, the, a big EU tournament scene. And I've seen no discords about her besides the fact that she was playing uh, Rika, a deck no one wanted to learn the matchup, but now we have to because she has to go in and be good at the game. I mean, it's also kind of funny because like Luna Love stopped playing Hearthstone and started doing Magic tournaments again, and apparently did so well that she's that uh, that she's already been asked to the uh, Magic the Gathering uh, content creator program. So it's just, I, I don't know, man. Trans people are good at card games. <laughs> like even, even one of my, fr even one of my friends that is trans loves, uh, loves Magic Gathering and loves Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know, man. It's just something within that community. <laughs> okay. So Ignis is kind of a problem. Uh, dude, there's no way he forces a draw here. Reno's not coming out. We're just going to have to trade the snake oils and hope that we find the, the hell yeah. It's just, it's the only card that matters right now. We need to start forcing him uh, to take the damage. And if he does play Odin, then we nom nom the Odin. Then we're stuck at 38, which is really good. I don't have to worry about the weapon swings right now. Okay. Scarlet and Starcraft as well. Oh, what? Oh, come on. All right, bye Primus. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You have earned an eternity. Hell yeah, brother. I did it. Oh wait, I'm a dumb dumb. Why well, I'm a dumb dumb. I should have here powered that and then hit this. Eh, I'll freeze his face. That'll be almost as good. All right, so plagues do your thing. Only one? I want a refund. I want a refund, dude. Having hell yeah and drawing it is is great and all. But you gotta start drawing those plagues, though. On a win, I made a stable diffusion AI generated. My Valentine from Yu-Gi-Oh! One... Wait, what? Stable diffusion AI generated my Valentine from Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay, how exactly did you make it? Like, did you just put it into a prompt? Or, like, how... Okay, how exactly did you generate this? I don't know anything about this technology. 
Hell yeah, feel good. Hell yeah, feels good, Ink. <laughs> Alright, I need more plagues. It's my chocolate attack. One more Run for help! Run for help! Nice. Run for help! All right. So the Reno, the, the Reno effect is locked out, but the Reno um, unfreezing his hero is the thing we have to worry about right now. He needs to play a verse riff, and then he has to play Quillbore into uh, a Quillbore into safety goggles. Quillbore, safety goggles, play Reno, play verse riff, attack with this. I believe is thirty three. With prompts. Can't hear power first because I don't want to draw too many. I don't want to draw too many cards. So now that I'm at 35, it's harder for him to kill me. Lend me your bones. Okay. Not gonna uh not a fan of uh, AI art. Plus it's just random a random hot woman though, uh like the demons in the back and the background. I mean, it's supposed to be a real-life version of my Valentine. It looks like her. But I do agree. Like, the, okay. I am fine with AI being utilized. I am fine with AI, like, being used to help with tedious work. Like, you know, like, editing videos, that sort of thing. Like, if there's, a, like, a prompt that can get rid of all the dead space. Like, apparently there's already something like this in Adobe, but I'm just giving an example. If AI can reduce on tedious time... I don't mind people utilizing it, but what I am not a fan of is when someone takes a picture like that and they're like, ooh, look at look, look at what I made. Where it's like, yeah, you technically made it, but you didn't create it. You know what I mean? Like, that's where I start to have problems with uh, a lot of AI is when people use it in that fashion. Because then that's not okay, in my opinion. You can't just take credit for work that technically you didn't put the paper. You know what I mean? Okay. There's the other down with the ship. Alright, I'm not gonna be able to. Oh, my pop! Yeah! Yeah! Alright, I think we're good now. I think we're good now. I will get the ads right as you, uh, right as you pull it up. Please repeat reaction. Pretty much, long story short, I'm fine with AI as long as it doesn't replace the job. It, it, think of it like a, like a software engineer or like a video editor where like AI becomes a tool that is used by the human. The AI can be used to help the human, not to replace the human. So I'm not really a big fan of using AI for artwork, for example, like what that just was, because you could have gotten a legitimate artist to potentially do that for you. And, uh, you know, you could have, you could have paid them, you know, you got, got, got to pay, you got to pay your artists, dude. Always got to pay your artists. And it's like, we're getting to a time where it's like, people would just rather focus on what is made versus how it's made. And I, I always have never really liked that as an artist. Because then you're delegitimizing the process that is making art. And that's what you want. You, you just want the end result, you know what I want? Yeah, yeah, I know I know that it's, it was just for something fun, but I'm just talking about, uh, talking about you know, it's applications. Because there was somebody that was immediately like, ooh, fuck AI. And it's like, well, hold on, man, hold on. There's a legitimate way to use it. You can pay editors too, <laughs> exactly. ChatGPT is a great tool uh, to help indeed, but it really needs to be seen as a tool. Exactly, it's not, Chat GPT is supposed to be an assistant. It's not supposed to be the, uh, it's not supposed to be in charge. 
you are supposed to use it as a tool, not as a means of just, you know, ooh, I, 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 di I did the work now. Work's done. I, c I could go home and play Xbox now. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Okay, hold on. Seven, 13. How many plagues are in the deck? Seven. So it's potentially 14. Ooh, to burn on this. I just love this guy so much. <laughs> Explosion damage? It's not it's not high enough. I really haven't spent a lot of corpses. Alright, so if he draws literally all the plagues, he's dead. One two three Five! Six! Oh! Only six plagues! <laughs> I wanted seven! Ah! Ah! I mean, there's no way I'm dead, right? Especially with a two mana rock star? There ain't no way, dude. Are you the Count from Sesame Street? I could be. Bitch, I might be. <laughs> uh, this is Copium. Uh, 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 uh. Six blegs. Uh, uh, uh. It's never seven. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. No, Reno's GG. Even if he had Reno, it wouldn't matter. First of all, Reno doesn't get rid of the board. Second of all, it doesn't give him enough damage. And then suddenly, he's getting frozen for the rest of the time. This matchup really does come down to being able to deal 30 and not getting hell yet. <laughs> One nipple. Ah, ah, ah. Two nipples. Ah, ah, ah. Three ni Oh, hell no. <laughs> Wait, is that a reference? <clears throat> is that a reference, my guy? So this is lethal, right? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Wait, is it from Family Guy or Robot Chicken? Which one is it? I don't, I don't think I remember that one. 42 corpses left over. Yeah, we, we, we didn't really spend those corpses. <laughs> Be gone, peasant. Did I see uh, any weapon freezes uh, since the patch that have screwed up something? Wait, what do you mean? Any weapon freezes since the patch, uh, they uh, might have screwed up something. Are you talking about... Okay. There's this guy that made a post on Twitter talking about how the plague weapon is freezing his opponents. And there might be a... Um, there might be a bug. I cannot confirm or deny this because I haven't seen it in action and the glitch is kind of confusing me, but... Any weapon discovered from uh, from Runes of Darkness freezes now. Can you show me the interaction? Like, can you show me it uh, the it in action? I need to see the interaction in action because I'm very confused on what exactly this means. Because I believe I saw that that Twitter thread uh, that Twitter thread about it, and Hat said he couldn't figure out how to recreate it. Oh my God, Hat tweets so much. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this this right here. New bug after the 29.2 update. Staff of Primus will freeze the target. Please fix it. Are you sure that's what happened? I was not able to replicate this. Uh, any chance you're mixing it up with the Crusher? Uh, I re uh, replicated this in the Innkeeper. I discovered this weapon and attacked the enemy hero. It's frozen. It's when Crusher is played first. Has nothing to do with playing Crusher. So it's just strictly any weapon that you get off... off okay, so any... That's so broken. Wait, really? It's that simple. It's seriously just that simple, huh? Well, I guess, I guess we'll test it. It's kind of funny because I've literally... <laughs> I haven't been able to play the only weapon I didn't discover that wasn't Crusher. Could be based off the portrait. I don't think it's based off the portrait because it was two different portraits that were able to do that. Play the weapon the same turn that you use up Crusher. No, because the first screenshot that we saw, someone was able to do it on turn one with coin. So I don't think that's what's happening. You're no answer. Uh, I am only doing this because Mom and Pa legitimately solos this game. 
Yeah, like look look at this screenshot. Turn one. Turn one. He had coin. And he played runes and the coin weapon, and it just worked. So it seems to be if the if the staff of Primus comes from runes of darkness, it freezes the enemy. So let's give it a try then. I I have to find the runes of darkness, and I hope it I, I hope it isn't the reason why I win, but I hope I win, you know. <laughs> but honestly, Mom Pop might be carrying. If this fizzle snapshot isn't insane. Double snake oil. Down with the ship. The citadel stands strong. Okay. That bug just hit me. It also worked with Frostmore, and I guess it's any weapon from the Runes of Darkness. It seems to be the case. And if it is the case, then oh my god. Really? That is such a that is such a hilariously stupid bug. <laughs> Cause like think about it, dude. Even if even if you miss the crusher off the runes, every weapon now freezes. <laughs> Wait, what is he doing? What are we doing? We didn't play Flash. Oh, he's just gonna kill the mom paw. How does that even happen? No shot, they touch the card in this patch. See, that's the great thing about Hearthstone and dealing with bugs and dealing with coding. You could literally change nothing and then something goes wrong. Oh wow, he actually had a clear, holy fuck. Uh, okay. This is fine. He didn't play Flash. If he would've played Flash, I maybe would've reacted differently. All right, seems pretty good. There's the hell yeah, hell yeah, brother. Salami code. It's what happens when you when you make your code on a on a pile of Jenga pieces. <laughs> what I find it weird is that hat couldn't uh, replicate it. Uh, so I I dug deeper into the thread. The way that it apparently works, and we will test this when we have the opportunity. Uh, if you apparently play Roots of Darkness right now, as of this moment, maybe it's fixed as the time of making this video on YouTube. Um, but as of right now, it turns out that just playing Roots of Darkness and then playing the weapon on the same turn, if you attack with it, it freezes. And apparently it, it keeps the freezing. If, if you, if you play it the, the turn that you discover it. So hopefully I can test it, but as of right now, we're not getting the draws. You have earned an eternity. Alright. Let's go, dude. Yo, Tate's coming in with a prime. Thank you for that support, dude. Welcome to the horde, my friend. Freezes the game? No, 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 no. It, okay, so. Runes of Darkness, discover a weapon, play the weapon, no matter what the weapon is. Apparently there is a bug where if you play the weapon from the Runes of Darkness the same turn that you play it, it doesn't matter what the weapon is, it will freeze the opponent's face. Freeze as in the freeze keyword, not freeze the game game, you know? This guy also has not gotten a... a f <laughs> he hasn't gotten the flash yet! Oh my god! I tempoed Rezka! I tempoed Rezka and it, and it lived! Holy crap, dude. He can't... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Why is it so funny? Why is it so freaking funny, dude? Okay, hold on. Can I find a lethal here? I could. Deal three? Aw, oh, man. We're just gonna have to, um... Just gonna do this. Like I don't care about cards getting getting drawn or milling anything. I was well, I want the, I want him dead. Die. Damn it. All right, it looks like we're not discovering the runes of darkness here though. Found you by your great YouTube content. I had a suspicion. I had a sneaky little suspicion because when people pr sub with their prime before they make their very first time in uh, the very first chat, I, I I have a sneaky little suspicion. Opponent played around Reska. <laughs> oh shit, Golgoneth healing? Uh, how important is that? 
I mean, Primus. Oh my god, my deck. I still haven't milled the runes. I still have not milled the runes. Okay, this deals 10 now, so all I need is one damage connecting. Oh, look, look, at how, look at how convenient that is. Oh, look at how convenient that is, bro. Get him. Oh, it's a challenger from Cybreed 2. Satisfying. Very satisfying. Did you say something about Jeremy Priest? Well, turns out, there you go, sonny. There's your Jeremy Priest. Sure. Okay, wait. Threads, OP. Throw everything else away. Ooh, woo, here's your priest. Ooh, there's the hell yeah. Does that make a difference? Rainbow DK, so good. I love it. I love me some rainbows. I don't know why I'm speaking like this. I really don't know what accent I'm trying to do. I'm just saying rainbow very weirdly. Because I love this deck. So good. We just gotta beat the Zarimi priest now. Ooh, yeah. The best draw. I, I have the best draws. I am the best draws. I am draw. Draw. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. No runes of darkness. Very upsetting. I don't think we bother wasting the, the crop rotation here. The only reason to do it is to have stats on the field for next turn, which I don't think is necessary. All right, there we go. Just remove everything. We, we're like, we're, we're the control deck here. There's no reason to overplay cards and play for tempo because this deck is going to out-tempo me. I just have to answer. And honestly, having Rezka with crop rotation threads, like this would just be a good way to like solidify the win here. Especially if he doesn't play a card here. He has one drop or potentially coin into two drop or two one drops. Starting that should tide you over anyway. I mean, if he can do an OTK, that's still a bit concerning. So that's two dragons. You have earned an eternity of it doesn't seem right to crop rotation a 3-3. Three, three. Plus we gotta save it with threads. One, two, three, four, that's seven, putting this to six. Uh-oh. Okay, so this might get eaten now. Nope. So this is just simply a crop rotation threads turn, right? Honestly, I could just hear power threads. My rule the only reason to play crop rotation though is to make the Rezka better, but I could save the crop rotation for later. For later. Is there a reason to do this no first? Reprieve. One. No. no, it just has to be done. I was wondering if there was a way to technically connect the one. Not like it really would have mattered, but still. Just trying to make sure I don't screw up the threads uh, math. So Horseman can hopefully uh, beat whatever he wants to do here. If he's just going to make a big minion. And odds are he might just play like one or two minions and call it a day. Or call it a turn. Let's see. One, two, three, four dragons played. Needs one more dragon. Has, um... Oh my god, <laughs> oh no, he doesn't know how this interaction works! Oh no! Alright, so if you pip when you have Frost Plague, your one drops or two drops when pip is played. That, that, he doesn't know how that works. I found that out off, I found that out off, uh, off stream the other day. But yep, it doesn't work that way. Water. Nice one drops, buddy. There he is, the fourth best Hearthstone streamer named Clark, who streams uh, uh, on Twitch at this time of day. How are you, friend? Hold on a minute, the fourth best Hearthstone streamer? So that means that uh, above me would be like, what, like Kraparian, Brian Kibler, uh, and I'm still confused on who the third is be, because I'd be number three, right? Hold on a minute, number four? Number four? Oh, three other Clarks. Wait a minute, there are three other Clarks that play Hearthstone? I'll be 
I need to meet them. We we would we could create the the greatest uh the greatest content series that Hearthstone has ever seen. All right, this is really good, by the way. Everything dead. Boom! It explode. Every explode. Everything explode. Everything dead. All right, this this is just the power of Rainbow DK right now, man. Brazilian streamer Ness is number two after Crip. Nerf suggested for Zarimi uh, after your opponent's turn. You have two turns. Thoughts? What? You want to play Temporis? Is what I'm hearing. You really want to play Temporis? Wait, hold on a minute. Will this work? Also, I have to test the interaction with the weapon this turn. Take this. Ah, oh, cries. Okay, so we can test this interaction now. All right, let's see if this does freeze the face. Did they fix it? Did I do it wrong? Is it because I, is it because of my order? There's no way they fixed this already. It actually could be the order, I guess. So I have to do it immediately? Maybe because of the buff? I don't think the buff has anything to do with it. It looked like it was working regardless of the weapon being buffed or not. It might it might be the order though. Maybe it's the order. I damn near should test this against the innkeeper just because I don't want to just keep playing games on ladder and then like misplaying, I guess. All right, let's 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 top deck the runes so that way I can actually test this shit. Cause like the moment that I play Zilliac, oh, okay, never mind. Well, maybe it's quick draw. Maybe it's activating as a quick draw effect. That would be kind of interesting. Eh. Oh, okay. Well. Part of me was just thinking about like not trading into it, but I think I want to kill it just because I want to reduce the attack in case he does a Zarimi turn, which could be happening here. Ooh. Okay, that's not good. That's 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 not very good. But then again, it's not happening this turn. It'll be happening next turn. Okay, that has Rush. This has one more minion in it, right? Or is that all of them? Stitch and So is such an interesting card, but this card is just so slow and so bad. Temporis, Zerimi uh, is a bad nerf. If you're talking about, okay. If your goal to, to fix Zerimi, quote unquote, is to add two turns after you take the extra turn, why? What is even the point? Also, this guy just gave up. <laughs> I, I don't think I like that, that nerf idea, no. 100% keep. Don't let them inside your mind. Don't let them inside your mind, chat. Run away. One red, two, uh, two frost freeze DK. No, this is rainbow DK. Oh no. Wait, am I gonna do it? Oh my god, I'm a I'm a filthy cheater! Oh my god, I'm actually a dirty, filthy fucking cheater. Oh no. Oh no, I gotta I gotta let my opponent know. Hold on a minute. Okay, so we're gonna literally see the interaction happen. <laughs> I got Clark to spend 15 bucks. Where's my where's my cut, Blizzard? Where's my cut? <laughs> no excuses, Blizzard. No regrets. Oh my god. Does it freeze minions too? I imagine it does. I don't know why it wouldn't. Clark, stop cheating. Stop being a dick, Clark. Stop cheating at the card game. You're literally no better than Yugi Moto. Disguise co toast for uh, for something like this. Sorry, Clark, we won't see you in a while. Well, if Blizzard puts me in Blizzard jail, I will say um, skill diff. Uh, I don't know what we're skill diff in, but skill diff. All right, so I'll hold on to the plague for another turn. Think about how legitimate, like, freezing a minion could be in this situation. Clark going to Blizzard Jail wouldn't be the first time. Wouldn't be the first time. Most likely not going to be the last either. Does it freeze minions too? We'll find out. If he plays a minion, that is. Doesn't look like he's playing minions, though. You have earned an attack. 
Remember uh, when all abused the bioluminescence bug? Uh, no one got banned. Wait, what? Wasn't the bioluminescence bug that it was casting twice? Wasn't it that it was like naturally casting twice? Like if you had a board of three minions, it would it would give you six spell damage. Yeah, I remember those days, man. Don't drop the soap or the steam cleaner, bro. I'll, I'll steam. You're clean. <laughs> I'll, I'll definitely I'll, I'll definitely steam your meat Got him Okay, this is just not fair by the way. <laughs> I'm a filthy freaking cheater I'm a dirty cheater man. I'm gonna hold on to the weapon <laughs> Shouldn't you just report it to blizzard to avoid jail? They're already aware of it Like if I if I were to exploit this and like encourage other people to do this then yes I, Maybe I would get some kind of like uh, reprimanding or something but most likely, they're already aware of this. I saw this on Twitter because somebody already posted about it. Ridiculous hat, therefore, the design team is already aware of this. So there's nothing else I need to do about it. The Citadel stands strong. Okay, so I actually need to hold on to the plague. Any problem? Because what if he ends up playing coin into, uh, coin into wheel? Then I have no plagues left. You can't do nothing if you want to play DK. <laughs> can't do nothing, man. You gotta do something. Endgame? Oh, Jesus. No! Okay. So he's not coining the, um... Nice. He's not gonna be coining the uh, the wheel. No point in taking the nine if he's just gonna hit me anyway. Nice. Take the phase to hit the the free to freeze the nine nine. <laughs> Is it still freeze after hero change? I feel like it should, cause I feel like it's the weapon, not the hero. That's the that's that's bugged. Ow. Well. Ooh, to burn on this. Oh, this is not good. This is like supposed to be like one of our easier matchups. It's kind of crazy that we're losing this. We're in a position that we could lose. I hate to do this play. But we need the life steal. We'll just assume that we freeze minions because why wouldn't we? All right, another frost plague. Let's go. This is a hundred percent wheel warlock. Yeah, deals like war world a uh, wheel warlock. If they know the matchup isn't easy, you don't have much uh, that many answers versus big stats. What do you mean we don't have answer for big stats? We quite literally have poisonous. That's why this matchup feels really good for us. Because of all the poisonous, all the removal, and the plagues. It's not just the fact that we plague them. Oh my god, are you serious? Okay, this guy's getting really lucky, man. Okay, okay. Um, crop rotation would be really good. E. 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 Oh, and I got the head. Let's go. Everyone dead. Right? Everyone dead. Everyone dead. Everyone's dead. Everyone died. Quite literally, everyone died. Clark Hellscream, the filthy cheater, succeeds again. <laughs> karma incoming? Nope, nope. There is no karma. This guy has lost the game. And now he's out of harps. The plagues are going to keep coming, and even if he plays wheel, he can't prevent fatigue with harps now. Awaiting a Sarg, a Reno, or Phantom. He can't play Reno. Don't remember me, Clark? I remember you, Scraps. This was going on, dude. Welcome back to the stream, dude. It's been a minute since you've been here, man. If you made a chat earlier, I'm sorry if I didn't see it. We got a, we got a lot of people in this chat now. Or we, might, we might be a little bit larger than last time that you saw us. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Hope you're having a good one. All right, time to add those plagues right back into the deck. You know what I can do? I can also steal that 15-15. Wait, hold on a minute. This isn't lethal, right? Nah, it's not lethal. 
You ain't never seen the light again. Gimme, 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 gimme. You know? All right, yeah, the, even, even with the glitch, this deck is still freaking cracked, dude. More plagues it is. Oh my, wait a minute, what? The damage only got hit up once, but the stat of the attack of the minions went up like six times. That's crazy. Why not Hira Power the Rezka? Uh, because I didn't think about it. Because I'm BMing him. There's no way that he can win anyway. We're sending a message. Yeah. 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 We're sending a message. Yeah. Yeah. Sending a message is what we're doing. He's got five turns to kill me. Ain't no way it's happening. Surely, right? Yeah, surely. 100%. Because he's going to fatigue plus four. There is literally no way this guy can win. I'm pretty confident on that. Even if I were to play terribly for the rest of this game... I don't think he can win. Okay, double reverb. That's kind of crazy. The double reverb. As if I don't have threads. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to, trying to make sure that I'm not going to throw here. So it's two, four... Six because he's already taken one fatigue meaning he's at ten. So this actually wouldn't clear. So I have to do it this way mm. We have to threads Do this Six plagues, this will put him to eight. There's no way we're dead. No matter what we could have done, we could only get him two damage away. But the difference between this play and the other play is that this play doesn't leave the 15 15s up. So, needs to happen. And that is now duplicate on the plagues. Uh, I think there were already duplicates, but yeah, it's GG now. Even with a deal six. Deal six to the board, go out in spectacular fashion. There we go! All right, yeah, Rainbow DK is is cracked. It's like actually stupid good right now. Like I legitimately haven't lost with it today. 100% win rate, 5-0 with the deck, man. It absolutely is spanking everything. Rainbow DK, man.